Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Glad to see you here. Like always, in today's video, we are going to talk about Cabomba caroliniana. It's an aquatic perennial herbaceous plant native to North and South America. It is a weed of national significance in Australia and on the list of invasive alien species of union concern. It is now regarded as a weed. Fanwood stream becomes brittle in late summer, which causes plants to break apart. It produces by seed, but vegetative reproduction seems to be its main vehicle for spreading to new water. It can grow 50 mm in a day. It has been reported in Lake MacDonald in Queensland, Australia. Water condition needed to grow cabomba. A cabomba plant likes clean tank with clear, gently moving water. If aquarium water moves too quickly, the plant might get jostled around and uprooted. Aquarium pH level should be in between 6.8 to 7.5. Water temperature should be in between 72 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Cabomba plant is propagated by cutting young branches from a mature plant and pressing the trimmed stem at least an inch into the substrate or in normal sand which we use for making house or building. If your water is not moving gently, then it can grow well. Lightning and CO2 Cabomba prefers aquarium with high amounts of lightning. While it does not require CO2, it will greatly improve the growth and the appearance of this plant. You should provide 8 hours of lightning. Alright guys, well this is gonna end of this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed like always and if you did then please subscribe as it shows me your support and it helps me to continue making more videos for future and hit that notification button to get notified when I drop new videos and comment to your doubts or anything you want to know or your experience with birds, pets. I hope that you all have a wonderful day and see you on the next video.